goddamn camera. <clears throat> All right, we're gonna do a video here on uh, making cordage out of simple bark. This is, yeah, it's not just any bark. I believe it's mesquite. If uh, you know the name of it, correct me. But this uh, stuff is good for fires, a lot of camping stuff. But um, I don't know the name of it. I just know the sound it makes when it takes a man's life. But I'm gonna show you guys how to make cordage or string from this this shit right here. It looks like orangutan here, my my seven year old said. So, anyways, we got put that there. Um, basically, what you want to do is you want to separate it. You can string it out quite a bit. I'm not gonna get involved in all that. I do it a few times, but the idea is you want to string it out because it's real stringy and just for uh, visual purposes so you can see that the stuff is not that strong to begin with I'll break a piece here it's real easy to break which is good for fires if we're not doing a video on fire I'll show you how to make fire another time fucking cars I'll show you how to make fire another time but that stuff is good for kindling and, and just actually your tinder so with this stuff here you want to string it out Make it real stringy, almost hair-like. It already looks like hair, but you want to get it real stringy and hair-like. And uh, what you want to do is you get them all about the same. Doesn't matter how how thick, but get them about the same thickness. And you can actually make it pretty long. I'm going to make a short one here, just to uh, just to give a demonstration. Now you can do this one of two ways. I'm going to break that off right there. All right, you can do it one of two ways. You can either do two two separate ones or do one long one. But at any rate, uh, what you want to do is twist here. I don't know if I'm showing any of this stuff. You want to twist here. Just tie a knot. And I'm using a pencil. The stick doesn't have to be. You need another. You need a stick. I didn't go through my supplies list. But uh, you get an ugly pencil. Tie one side to it, and then get another bundle. Give a nice little quick twist on it. Doesn't matter which way you go. Typically, it doesn't matter, but I usually try to go the same direction every time. <clears throat> so I guess that's a good rule of thumb: is to twist in the same direction every time. Uh, that'll actually change, but we hadn't got that far yet. Uh, for starters twist in one general direction. Now you see these these are two different lengths and that's gonna actually be a problem later but since we're making a short one it, who gives a shit right? So you can bring them close like this I like to bring them close because we're gonna do things but to, for a demonstration we'll separate them. So you string it out like this hold one end and you basically twist. Now you could twist this you could twist the pencil side what I usually like to do is, what I'll do is I'll, I'll keep my foot on one and I'll just use my fingers here to twist, twist and twist and twist away. Okay, and now what's going to happen, and even though this is short, the end of the string is here, probably should have done a longer one. But what's going to happen is, as it twists, it's going to bind. It's going to have too much tension and it'll start to buckle like a telephone cord after it's been twisted for too long. It'll start doing this number just like it's doing right now. I don't know if you can see it. Can you see that? Is that show? It'll start doing like that. And so what, what we want to try to do is avoid that as much as we can. I mean, we want that to happen, but what we don't want is for it to happen too soon. Nobody likes a cord that's premature. A premature cord, if you know what I mean. All right, so this is what we have. Now we folded it in half. What I didn't show you was, while I was here, I folded it in half. And this is where your cordage is gonna come into play, right here. And watch, once we start twisting, you can actually twist it tighter. And Guadalajara, you got yourself some loose rope. It's not very tight. I did kind of a quick half-ass job on it. But uh, I don't know if that's visible. But you got yourself a little bit of a string. Take this off. You can pop it off. It should be pretty easy to pop off. 
but uh, or you can get your. I don't have a knife with me, but you got yourself some string there. You know, just real quick string, and to show you how strong it is. I mean, that shit ain't gonna bust. You know, it might it might fray and everything, but uh, for the most part, it's not gonna really it's not gonna really break. Oh no, I dropped the camera. This is good cordage. Uh, now, needless to say, you'll probably need a shitload of uh, this. Whatever the fuck this is, you need a shitload of it. But if you're in the wild, you could probably find a bunch of it. It's good stuff to have, and uh, you could actually make a a fire. I don't know what they're called, a fire burrito out of these things. You you gather up your your tinder like this, and you can fold it up and while it's while it's uh, smoldering, fold it up and take it to your uh, to your campfire, whatever the hell. But just something to think about, and it's all good. You can be independent. You don't need this shit.